Hello everyone! I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. It is cold outside, but not that cold. It's minus one degree Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, so you're gonna have to figure that out. But it is snowy! It was snowy. It snowed all night, I think. Or it snowed at night. And so in the morning, I, I woke up and it was snow everywhere. Oh my gosh. In this video, I wanted to speak to you about a question that I've been asked by recently by an ENFP who is interested in an INFJ. She's a female ENFP interested in the male INFJ. And I find that a lot of times the other way around, um, a female INFJ and a male ENFP pretty much has a lot, not many complications. Like, like it works out pretty well. They don't usually message me asking me questions. But whenever it comes down to a male INFJ and a female ENFP or a female ENTP or a female INTJ, it's, it's literally the, the other scenario. It's a completely different kind of scenario because the female ENFP or ENTP are completely confused by the male INFJ. So I feel like from what I'm observing, at least, I mean, this is just my observation. I'm not, I'm not an expert on this. But from the questions I've been getting, I think male INFJs might be even more introverted and even more complicated than female INFJs. <laughs> Which is saying a lot because fuel INFJs are already very freaking complicated. And so I can imagine that anyone who is dealing with male INFJs who are having conversations with them or who are interested in male INFJ, they're going to be completely confused out of their brains. They have no idea what's going on. And <laughs> I get this sense every single time I talk to someone who's interested in the male INFJ, they're like, you know what, I, I feel like I'm Alice in Wonderland. I have no idea what's going on. Everything is just upside down, all out of place. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know how to behave with them. Should I do this or should I do that? Should I say this or should I do that? And they keep on questioning themselves. They keep on doubting themselves because no matter what they say, the male INFJ doesn't give them a automatic or a, a, a response that they can understand or that is normal, if you want to call it normal. It's not something that they've ever dealt with before. It's basically like dealing, dealing with an alien. They are all confused and mystified because they're like, well, you know, I, I assume that if I did this, my INFJ would, would do this, but they don't. They do something completely different. And I'm just sitting there thinking, oh my God, I don't know. I'm so confused. How do I deal with this? And so a lot of them, which is nice of them, which I really appreciate because they're really loving, kind, generous people. And they really do love their male INFJs a lot. And I can really see that because they do really care and they really do want to be with their male INFJ, even though the male INFJ is giving them all these random mixed signals and all this stuff they still are very caring and they still are adoring of the male INFJ. I mean, they just have all of these amazing, nice things to say about them. And I'm just sitting there thinking, you know, this person's being really mean to you. <laughs> but it's not like they're being intentionally mean, I don't think. The male INFJ is not intentionally being mean. It's just that they do things which might be construed as being mean by an objective outsider. And so one of the things, as I said, the NFPs or the NTPs end up doing a lot is watching a lot of videos about INFJs. In fact, I would say that if I might presume to say that I am a little bit of an expert on INFJs, which I'm not, I just know a lot about them because I, do, I talk to a lot of them and I do a lot of random videos about them. So if I was kind of presumed to be an expert, I would say that all of these ENFPs, all these ENTPs, all of these INTJs, all of these female lovers of male INFJs are the real experts really truly they are the real they're the real heroines I would say are the real like they are the ones that we should be commending and they're the ones who I really kind of like I'm standing in the corner and I'm always like you can do it and I'm always like you can do it I'm cheering them on and if you have any questions please call me and you can do it I know you can do it and I'm always like you know cheering them on because they really literally are trying so hard. They are trying so hard to watch all the videos. They read hundreds of posts about INFJs. They're constantly asking questions. They're constantly on all of the different INFJ channels and they're constantly trying to figure out, okay, what does this mean? Why did you do this? And they journal a lot and they, they, they contemplate things a lot and then they're constantly self-reflecting to figure out, okay, was it me? Did I make a mistake or was it him? Usually it's him. But you know, they're always constantly talking about it and thinking about it. And I wanted to do this video, not because I just wanted to cheer them on even more, which I do, but also to make the male INFJs, if you are watching, and if someone is interested in you, to make you realize that that person is probably working extremely hard, even if you don't see it, they're probably working extremely hard on their end, figuring, trying to figure you out. They're trying to figure you out. And I get a lot of comments from male INFJs who are like, oh my God, I'm so alone. No one cares about me. No one loves me. And I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm destined to die alone. And, and yeah, maybe some of you are. 
but probably there's someone in your life that is trying very hard to be in your life is trying very hard to be related to you somehow a boyfriend or a girlfriend or or sorry a girlfriend or a boyfriend or even just just to be related to you somehow as a friend you know just just they just want a connection with you just a brief minute connection with you that's all they want they want to be around you and they want to they want you to show that you care about them right that's all they really want and that's what i, I get from a, se- a sense from a lot of these enfps and entps that they they just really want to be special to the male infj that they're in their lives with and they're trying very hard and so if you're sitting there thinking oh whoa his woe is me and no one cares about me and you know i'm destined to be alone because you know people are people suck and women are terrible and they're never going to try that hard to be with me there's probably someone in your life who is because from the messages i've been getting from a lot of female ENFPs and ENTPs and all that who are interested in male INFJs there is a lot of women who are interested in male INFJs but they're just not getting anything out of that male INFJ like nothing they try and try and try and nothing and they try 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 even more and nothing and then of course you can be alone if you're not going to give the person who's trying so hard even a little bit of a chance like even a minuscule chance then what is the real point of this like why are you complaining that you're alone when you're not even giving anyone a chance right now of course i'm not saying everyone is like that and i'm not saying every male INFJ is in the same category so don't start jumping down my throat about it but really seriously there are a lot of messages i get from all these ENFPs and ENTPs and all that who are interested in male INFJs who are just getting nothing out of them and so what are you people doing no seriously because i actually am sitting there thinking and i want to cry for all of these females who are interested in these male INFJs because there's just they are sitting there crying they're bawling their face off in front of me because they really care about this male INFJ but they're just getting nothing out of him and i'm thinking to myself ah uh, how can i i wish i could help you but what can i do here and all i can do really is to listen to you and try to be there for you but i don't know what's going on with these male INFJs why have they created such a structure of a, a, such an armor around them like a physical wall around them that they can't even let someone in who really truly loves them and cares about them so if you are a male INFJ listening this is actually an admonition to you <laughs> you're probably thinking what is this girl you even know what she's talking about she doesn't even know anyways i'm sure i don't know your story exactly but if you have someone in your life who's trying to show you love who's trying to show you care how about you let them in a little bit just a little bit just a tiny teeny little teensy bit just a little bit yeah just let them in a little bit you don't have to have these armors on all the time not around everyone yeah sometimes yes people do need to be armored against but not around people who actually really do love you and care about you why are you armored against them why are you protecting yourself against them what if they hurt you yeah some people will hurt you some people won't but if you never try if you never go out there then there's not even going to be a chance that you'd ever even get to be in a relationship that matters yeah and so you have to kind of give it a chance give it a little bit of a chance open yourself up a little bit try just try a little bit just try because that person actually really does care about you because i notice from a lot of the messages i get that they really do they wouldn't watch a billion videos related to INFJs really because of these videos otherwise are very boring <laughs> unless you're an INFJ or they wouldn't read post after post about INFJs trying to understand you if they if they didn't really care about you yeah so if you have someone in your life like right, right now like that someone who really does care and you're like oh i don't know maybe she's going to hurt me or uh, maybe i don't know whatever you're thinking just try a little bit try opening up yourself a little bit what what's the worst that could happen you're strong enough now that if even if they leave you even if she does kind of decide oh you know what he's not for me then what's the big deal you've dealt with all of that already you've dealt with a lot of that already and you're strong enough you're you're old now and you've gone through the whole process you've dealt with all of that you can deal with this as well right so just try because in fact what might or could happen is that you might end up in a relationship with a really loving kind beautiful person and that is miraculous in itself because to be an INFJ and to be in a relationship as you might imagine is very difficult <laughs> actually it's it's almost as rare as being an INFJ i would say so please try please because i really i really do feel sad when i get all these messages from female lovers who actually want to be with a male INFJ and they're just so desperate and so sad and so adorable but so ugh, 
just they just they just feel so stuck and i'm just like please please give them a chance so i'm, I'm on their car in their in their corner i'm cheering them on and i'm trying to do this video so that i can kind of give you a message to please try male infjs please please also female infjs infjs in general just try a little bit harder give in a little bit open yourself up a little bit stop building all these armors around yourself and try yeah you might end up in an amazing relationship who knows you might not but you might as well who knows all right <laughs> this is my psa for today my public service announcement if you have questions about this, obviously, please message me or comment below and I shall do a follow-up video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you the next time. Bye.